All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. And, fellas, before we get into the creator class that's going to be on Black Ops Cold War, uh, I just found this out today, man. It looks like one of our most beloved features that was, for some weird reason, not put in Modern Warfare 2019. It looks like the map vote is coming back. Man, Modern Warfare 2019 desperately needed the map vote. Whoever's call it was over Infinity Ward, to remove the map vote feature bro you, you taking a massive l for that one man i can't believe it stupid i mean how does that even come up in the boardroom yeah guys how can we make this game better oh i know let's get rid of the map vote <laughs> yeah, let's break up lobbies after every game oh yeah people would love that <laughs> i don't understand it I, I, I don't know man it's been a weird year man 2020 been a weird year what? The game was made in 2019? Oh, well, 2019 was weird too then, I guess. I don't know, but the map vote is back, fellas, which means we can vote on maps and they probably won't be breaking up lobbies after every single freaking game. So if you're in a good lobby with some good people and you, you're having a good time, you, you can stay there now. Yeah, isn't that cool? I mean, <laughs> imagine us being excited about simple, basic features we used to have all the time that have just been given back to us. <laughs> It's sad and it's it's pathetic, but it is what it is, man. So map vote is back. Thank God. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys, let's get into this creator class that's going to be on Black Ops Cold War. It looks amazing. I can't wait to find out some more about it. So we got this Treyarch developer here who's going to give us a little pep talk on how the class setup is going to work. And then I'm going to come on in and break it down after he's done. So roll the footage. Let's talk about two of the most significant and impactful features of multiplayer create a class and score streaks. Our goal with create a class in Cold War is to empower you without making trade-offs. This year, better starts with simpler. Create a class will be a slot-based system, no longer governed by allocations or the pick 10 system. You'll always boast a full class of a primary, secondary, lethal, tactical, field upgrade, and a set of perks. Field upgrades are items placed in the world to give your team an advantage. You can earn them solely based on time, not score. And they are the only type of game content that works in a cooldown that lasts after death. Now, wild cards are back. In this system, in every class, you can pick one of four wild cards that let you do things like load your primary weapon with up to eight attachments, carry up to six perks, double the number of lethals and tacticals you have, or carry three primary perks for many mix of categories. Of course, a key component of create a class is the gunsmith. In Black Ops Cold War, there are more optics and attachments to unlock and configure than ever before. Every primary weapon can be customized with 54 attachments across eight different nodes or attachment points, with at least six options per attach point. By default, you can equip five attachments or eight with the gunfire wildcard. For the first time, Gunsmith will show you what equipping an attachment does as a positive or negative percentage. You can now build backwards, specking out the perfect gun for results you want to see in the field. This takes the guesswork out of the system and helps us on our never-ending quest to make the most balanced Call of Duty game you've ever played. All right, man. Well, damn, that sounded lovely, bro. The most balanced Call of Duty game we've ever played. And you know what? Usually I'd be laughing right now, but after I seen the perks, you guys remember last night I showed you the perks? The perks look super balanced. The tier one, the tier two, and the tier three look extremely balanced. In the tier one, you got flak jacket, uh, engineer, and tack mask. I mean, it's tough to pick between those three. In the tier two, you've got quartermaster, which is basically uh, restock, which is really good. Then you've got uh, the tracker perk, and then you've got scavenger. And then in the tier three, oh my goodness, cold blooded ninja. And Ghost? I mean, dude, super, super balanced. I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. And yo, that creator class looks incredible, fellas. We're all going to have uh, primaries, secondaries, lethals, tacticals, equipment, uh, a weapon with five or eight attachments. You know what I'm saying? Dude, to field upgrades. It's going to be great, man. It's going to be a lot of fun. And creating a class is going to be really deep and fun this year. I don't know if this creator class system will be as good as it was in COD Ghost. But man, having the gunsmith and the wild cards thrown in and the lethal, the tacticals and the field upgrades, man, you're going to have a lot of cheese at your disposal, fellas. It's going to be fantastic. So let's get into it, fellas. Let's peel it back layer by layer. 
Uh, let's start with the gunsmith here, man. This is really cool. So players can pick the following attachment slots for their weapon. So if you're running the standard uh, wild card where you, you can only put five attachments on a weapon, fellas, you get to pick between an optic, a muzzle, a barrel, an underbarrel, a body, a stock, a magazine, and the handle. And you could pick one attachment for five of these categories unless you're running that gunfighter wild card. Then you could pick an attachment for all these categories, man. That sounds amazing. Uh, so I'm really happy that Gunsmith is back, man. I mean, I know a lot of people were confused about it, but yo, just come to my come to my channel, man. Come check out the best class setups. We, we're going in this year, fellas. Trust me. I'm going to do all the best class setup, the best settings, all the cheese, all the stuff these dudes are using to blow up. Trust me. I've been sitting back watching it happen. Uh, I've been taking notes, man. We're going to do a whole lot of best class setups for Black Ops Cold War. I didn't really do it that much. Well, unless with the 725, of course, in Modern Snorfare. Because I, I didn't like this game. I, this game was not for me, okay? Even though I dominate at it. But let's be real. The only, the only thing you need to do to dominate at this game is walk into a room and play a Claymore by the door. And, you know, point a two-barrel shotgun at the other door and you're all, you're good to go. You know what I'm saying? That's all you need to do to dominate in this game. <laughs> it's not hard, man. This, this game has got zero skill gap. Zero. All right, so that's the gunsmith, and I'm hyped that it's coming back. Uh, let's talk about the field upgrades before we get to the wild cards. We'll save the wild cards for last because that, that's the best, in my opinion. So field upgrades are back. They were introduced to us here in Modern Warfare 2019. And, uh, you know, I liked them, except for the ammo box. The ammo box always blowing me up, dude. Super, super frustrating. Uh, I mean, uh, I'll show you guys a clip at the end of this video in case you missed it. Extremely frustrating, man. Hopefully, if there's an ammo crate in this game, which there probably will be. It's not listed here, but there probably will be an ammo crate. Hopefully, it doesn't blow us up, man. Hopefully, it's like Crash's ammo pack where, you know, it's just there and you can take ammo from it and it won't kill you. I don't know whose idea it was to have the ammo crate blow you up all the time over Infinity Ward, but another dumb idea, man. Uh, all right, so here is the options for the field upgrades, fellas. You've got a proximity mine. A throwable mine explodes shortly after an enemy runs or drives over. It can be avoided by crouching. Hmm. Destroys any vehicle that runs over it. Recharge time, two minutes. And then we've got the SAM turret, man. Uh, launches missiles at, at score streaks and player piloted helicopters. Oh, no. I don't like this. But according to Exclusive Ace, the SAM turret is, like, super weak. And it takes, like, multiple rockets to take out just a UAV. So it's more like it's going to help you take out streaks. Instead of just like completely demolishing streaks like the Sam Turret and Black Ops 1. Did you guys remember the Black Ops 1 Sam Turret? Oh my goodness. I've been shot out of so many chopper gunners with that thing before I could even slide the door back. That Sam Turret would light me up, bro. The Sam Turret was so OP in Black Ops 1, but it looks like it might be balanced here. Uh, I, I, plus, I don't even know how many people will use it, man. The Sam Turret. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. And you've got the Jammer. Uh, creates an electronic disruption field, disabling enemy field upgrades and degrading enemy minimap information. Uh, yeah, the jammer, we had that on Black Ops 1 also. Didn't really use the jammer that much, to be honest. Uh, then you've got this thing right here, the field mic. Deploys a recording device that highlights enemy sounds on your minimap. That kind of seems like it's going to be my go-to, especially me. You guys know how much I love free-for-all and team deathmatch. That looks like that's going to be my default... Uh, either that or the proximity mine. I don't see myself using the Sam turret too much. I don't see myself using the jammer too much. Uh, the field mic and the proximity mine look like the cheese right there. <laughs> we'll see, man. So, all in all, Treyarch is trying to combine the best of Black Ops and Modern Warfare class selection into one here on their game. So, looks good. Now, let's get into these wild cards, fellas. So this is what's really going to make the creator class fun. So, these are the wild cards that were just available in the alpha build. Again, uh, this is just limited stuff we're working with there, guys. I'm sure when the full game drops, there's going to be a lot more content. At least I hope there will be. I, I hope these aren't the only wild cards and perks and uh, field upgrades. I'm sure there'll be many more. So, these were the wild cards in the alpha build. We had Danger Close. Equip extra lethal and tactical equipment and start with max ammo. Yo, this is going to be a great class for all the campers out there. Can you imagine having danger close, right? You know there's going to be claymores in this game. Guarantee. Imagine walking into a map with two claymores and like, I don't know, two, two gas grenades or two stim shots, two claymores. And then you can have your proximity landmine field upgrade. So you could potentially... And you could run that uh, Quartermaster, uh, that perk Quartermaster that's basically restocked from uh, Modern Warfare. And you could just keep recharging all your Claymores and getting your Proximity Mines. Bro, imagine camping with Claymores and Proximity Mines all around you. Oh my goodness. Yo, Treyarch has always hooked us campers up, man. 
<laughs> That's right. I call myself a camper. I've definitely turned into a camper lately, man. There's so many sweaty nerds in these lobbies, dude. All you could do is troll them. <laughs> There's just, there's just so many of them, so I definitely see myself rocking the Danger Close wild card from time to time. Second wild card we got here is Lawbreaker. Equip any weapon in either slot and equip any perk. Uh, I kind of don't see myself using this too much uh, because there are shotgun secondaries. Now, this would be cool if there were no shotgun secondaries, if you wanted to run two primaries, but I, there's already shotgun secondaries in this game, so I don't know. Uh, equip any perk. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe Lawbreaker might get used by me once in a while. I just don't see myself going for it. Uh, but these next two wild cards, guys, look incredible. You've got the Gunfighter. Unlocks third additional attachment slot of your primary weapon. So instead of having five attachments, now you could use every attachment out there. You could use all eight attachments in the Gunsmith. That looks like it's going to be amazing, dude. That's going to be a class to just run around and show off with. Uh, with a really, like, tricked out, super built up weapon. That looks like it's going to be the Pub Stomper's choice right there, the Gunfighter. Or you can have, this next one looks really good too, Perk 3 Greed. Equip three extra perks. It's basically a poor man specialist, man. So you could run out there with, like, Tack Mask, Flak Jacket, uh, Scavenger, and Restock, uh, Quartermaster, and Dead Silence and Ghost. You could basically be unstoppable with the Flak Jacket and the Tack Mask. You'll be like a tank. You'll never run out of ammo with the Quartermaster and the Scavenger. And you'll be super stealthy with the Dead Silence and the Ghost. And you'll still have your five attachment weapon with your, you know, field upgrade and your lethal and your tactical. Bro, it looks, um, this game looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, man. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to play it. I've watched uh, exclusive Ace play with that AK-74U. My God, that gun looks good. So the Creator Class looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, fellas, with this hybrid pick 10 system. And the gunsmith coming back. Uh, I'm excited, fellas. I really am. We got the map vote coming back. Uh, we've got weapon inspect is coming back, by the way, guys. I just seen Charlie Intel talk about that. We got weapon inspect coming back and executions coming back also. Uh, so things are looking good here. Treyarch is looking to right the ship, man. <laughs> this is, like I said, it's going to be like a Modern Warfare style game, but with Treyarch spin on it, it's going to be a lot of fun. And I know they showed us a lot of like big maps in the multiplayer trailer reveal for whatever reason but according to the long sensation man uh yeah check out this tweet right here there's tons of small close quarter three lane maps in this game uh so this was a nice tweet to read right here just everything's looking good now everything was looking good when modern warfare was first coming out too right guys but i, I got a feeling i got a feeling that not only does everything look good but it is all good this time around <laughs> anyway guys that's all i got what do you guys think about this new uh, create a class system with the wild cards, man. I'm, I'm hype, bro. I'm hype. And drop it down in the comment section, fellas. Which wild card are you guys, you know, pretty sweet on right now? Me, I'm looking at that gunfighter wild card and that perk greed wild card. I mean, running around with a poor man specialist and r running around with eight attachments on my gun. Damn, that sounds good, fellas. That sounds real good. It's going to be fun, boys. It's going to be fun. I can't wait. The only thing that could ruin it is skill-based matchmaking. That's the only thing I can see ruined in this game, but we must find ways around it. Yes, we must find ways around the evil, evil skill-based matchmaking out there. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. Thank you all so much for the support. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will see you back on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Well, that's not I play this song when I lose. Get sh on. Oh my god. Bye bye. What the heck? How, man? How? I got flag jacket on. Oh, I got killed by the ammo box. Oh my god. Dude, I hate this game, man. Why my ammo box always killing me?